So here's the latest project I've been working on with some spare parts I had laying around. This is actually a 1984 Yamaha Virago 1000. Bought this bike probably 10 years ago. It was pretty much stock when I got it. I, I think I have a video posted from probably, probably about 10 years ago when I first bought this. And it was a good bike. I rode it for quite a few years, put a ton of miles on it, and uh, just upgraded to a bigger, better bike. And it sat around for a while, and then I ended up selling a bunch of parts off it to a friend, like the front forks, and the wheels and tires, and the whole suspension. So then I got this idea, with the parts I had remaining, to, uh, to make it a trike, which is probably one of the most reckless and dangerous things I've built. But it's a front end off a uh, Yamaha Tri-Z 250, the front wheel. The factory 1000 cc v twin uh, it's got a custom rear subframe it's got the single shock and then the rear end is actually from a yamaha moto 4 350 so it's got a disc brake set up I, I still have to get the the caliper mounted on there it actually works pretty good it's got a random Two Brothers muffler that I got from the junkyard. It sounds pretty cool. Tires are DOT spec tires, so I could put this on the road if I want to, but I don't know if that's the best idea, considering it's kind of sketchy. Disc brake in the front, it's pretty tiny, so it doesn't really do all that much. But it runs good, it's fun. The ground is really wet right now, so I probably shouldn't bother riding it, but I was too excited to test it out. So let's fire it up and take it for a little rip.
As you can see, that thing does pretty good. Uh, definitely going to have some more videos of it coming up soon. I want to try and get it a little more dialed in and a little more re refined in terms of getting a seat on it. Definitely needs fenders because it throws mud everywhere. Fortunately, since the tires aren't that aggressive, it really doesn't tear it up too bad. It makes kind of some muddy streaks, but it doesn't really make ruts or anything all that bad. So. It's fun for sliding around, but it makes a mess with no fenders on it. So definitely needs fenders, a seat, and then if I get really carried away, I could put lights on it. I still have the title for the bike, so I can put it back on the road, but I don't know if that's a great idea. <laughs> but it's pretty fun where it's at. I gotta get the rear brake all figured out. Pretty much all that was in second gear. So it's a five speed. It's got pl plenty of gear to go down the road at uh, probably 55 or so. But pretty fun, cool little project. It, this thing's been sitting around for a while, so it's nice to finally do something with it and have some fun with it. So there'll be some more videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching, guys.